This is a short video for Russell, one of my subscribers, who's asking how to create a S-curve for the throttle on a Spectrum DX7. Russell, this is how you do it. So we're going to have a look at, uh, first of all, where you can't do it. So I'm going to zoom in here and we'll, uh, we'll go through the bits and pieces. I'll talk through each individual button press so that you've got it. So Russell, here we are zoomed in, looking at an Acro model, and uh, what we'll do is we'll just jump into the menus by pressing uh, scroll down and select together to access the menus, and what you'll do is you'll see in here running through that there aren't actually any options in the plane models, you go right the way through and out to the start again, there's nothing in here to change it. So what I'll do is I'll show you where you can change throttle curves because that's only available on the DX7 uh, in the helicopter modes. So let me just start up the radio. Let's pick a model, one of the quads. Um, that will not more work. Now, in the quad model, so we're actually looking at helicopter rather than plane, if we now go through the menu, this time we'll find a whole new set of both pitch curves but also throttle curves as well. I'm guessing you're talking about the fact that I have these weird and wacky uh, shapes on the throttle curve, particularly around the midpoint where I have um, some reduced sensitivity for very fine control of hover. Now the way you actually get this is um, by, by pressing this select button, you can actually select which of the positions of the curve is highlighted. Okay, and once you have an element highlighted, you can use this button to change the position. Up or down. And what the radio will do is actually then take um, each of the points, and normally it's a direct line. And of course, what you want to do is turn exponential on, because if you change it so it's off, bear with me, then you'll find that you get those really straight jagged lines. If you turn the exponential on, then there you are, it'll smooth it all out and you have a very smooth transition as you go up the throttle curve. So that's the trick. You need to select which of the points you want individually. I normally set um, just the low, mid and high points if I'm doing something quickly. Although if I'm fine tuning the uh, midpoint for the hover of the model, I'll also set this one and this one, numbers one and three, so that they're just kind of 5% plus or minus around the hover point, which is typically mid stick, which is there. Hopefully that helps. Um, thank you for the question. If you have any other stuff that you need to know, please ask and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Happy flying.